All right. Yeah, I don't like the Pope, but so what? Y'all didn't care much for him either. Didn't think he was dope. Back before Francis, before this transition, you had Ratzinger. Nobody was rooting him on, at least no non-Catholics. But now, since Francis talks sweetly, everybody's supposed to like him? It kind of makes me sick. Think about it. People who would bash Christianity suddenly look at the Pope as a force for good simply because he seems liberal? Now tell me, what the hell is going on in this world? And yeah, so what do I care about the Pope? Let me tell you a little something. I don't. When the largest religious group in our country has devotion to the papacy, it isn't hard to see that that's one great evangelical opportunity. So do I want to convert all these Catholics? I would, but I don't possess the right tricks. Because I'm not about tricks. You know what they say, tricks are for kids. Man, just look at what all them televangelists did, spewing all these dangerous lies with a roll in the dope. Damn, you can see it in their eyes that it was all for the show. Anyway, I won't lie. My church has some problems, like having three bishops resign over a single city. Yeah, to some, that is surely worthy of pity. But what matters is that my church is strongly united in faith, even though everybody wants us to be united in faith. Yeah, I know what some are telling in the Protestant church. Like the way that people see you determines your worth. Think about it. They're singing, they will know we are Christians by our love. <laughs> so when did the church become the dove instead of being led by it? We had the chance to show the world we mean business, and yet no one tries it. And they be getting it all wrong. They turn Christianity into nothing but a song. Well, guess what? Forget that. Because I'm looking up to orthodoxia. It's the only thing I can still bet on because it cured my hypoxia. Yeah, man, I'm running to the Lord Jesus Christ and his bride, his church. There's no other place I'm going to find my worth. I ain't playing. I ain't faking no more. I gave that up the second I opened the door to the Lord. So if you're fearless and you're ready for a change, then join me and put behind all this deranged.